Hey guys, welcome to Suburban Brewer. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to keep your tap lines clean after each keg. We're gonna look at the Vivo Sun 800 gallons per hour pump. Uh, you can pick up this guy on Amazon for uh, less than 20 bucks. Uh, we'll go through the hosing that I've used uh, with a couple of modifications uh, so that it'll fit your pump and also uh, your tap system. And if you've got one of these little playmates around, uh, the Igloo Playmate, it's a great little reservoir to use as little BLC as possible. So uh, hang on just a second, we'll take a look. So I just picked this Vivo Sun up off of Amazon the other day. Uh, I think it was on their lightning deal for 18 bucks. This is a great little submersible pump that we can use to circulate our, our BLC um, cleaner. And um, what's great about this is it has a half inch NPT uh, threaded port right here. So, you know, a lot of our homebrew fittings actually um, are already half inch NPT, so that's it's a great conversion. What's cool is it has these little plunger feet so um, you can mount this into the bottom of any, uh, your, any reservoir, your bucket, your cooler, um, what have you. And basically this guy's just gonna stay put. The details on this hose is um, carbonation cap. This one, I believe, um, I think Faraday makes this on Amazon. Uh, you, can, you can get one of these guys for maybe, uh, I believe 12 to 15 bucks and this hose is actually, um, it's 5 16 um, If you have any of those floating dip tubes, you probably already have some of this laying around. Um, this is just the, the typical barb size for pretty much all the carbonation caps. Uh, so 5 16 hose, and I had to pick up a barb that is 5 16 to half inch um, because of the half inch barb uh, uh, to MPT fitting here. So. I had a little little bitty run of half inch um, hose just laying around to kind of bridge that gap. So, um, in all honesty, you could pick up a half inch NPT uh, connection to five sixteenths barb, but I looked. They're they're kind of hard to find. They're kind of few and far between. So I will post the links to all of these parts so you can build this yourself. You notice I have my grandfather uh, counter flow chiller here. Uh, what's great is there's one uh, little little connection that you can use to uh, make a pre-chiller for your for your counterflow chiller. So, you know, uh, if you're like me, you live in Texas, um, the groundwater might be 80, 85 degrees. So to get your water very cold coming out um, initially, you'll want to do kind of a pre-chiller setup. What's cool is you can get a bucket and drop your uh, your submersible pump down into the bucket, get a bunch of ice. Um, ice packs, whatever you've got, and uh, you'll want to run that cold water through your uh, through your CFC um, in lieu of having that that hot groundwater um, that might only get your wort down to 80 degrees. So this is a great tool. Um, I picked up this uh, this fitting from Home Depot. It's actually half inch NPT to garden hose fitting. So you're able to um, just screw this guy on right here. You might want to throw on some, uh, some Teflon tape. So once you get him in, you can go ahead and put your cold water line directly onto your pump. And this will, of course, be in your, uh, in your bucket with ice and ice packs and whatever you've got. So now you can run your, your cold water um, directly into your cold line and um, get your work down to pitching temps a lot easier. All right, so we want to fill this reservoir with uh, with four quarts of water because it seems to come to the top uh, well enough that it'll cover the uh, the pump. Go ahead and take our BLC solution and we'll add our two ounces. So the dilution rate is half an ounce per quart. 
that'll do it. I'll go ahead and add it. Go ahead and screw in. You kind of just want to get it hand tight and not really um, exceed that because you don't want to um, to damage those those threads. All right, as you notice, so I'm going to plug in um, my carbonation cap right up to my tap system. I'm going to open my second set and let's go ahead and get her plugged in. And we're gonna go ahead and let that run for 15 minutes. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I'm trying to get this channel up off the ground so there'll be a lot of uh, videos to come. Probably try and do these on a bi-weekly schedule. Um, the video editing is probably what's going to take me the longest. So I'm going to do a lot of how-to videos, um, some brew day videos, and just kind of some tutorials to help you get through um, entry-level home brewing uh, onto uh, advanced, whatever you'd like to, to uh, find out about. Uh, I do belong to my local homebrew club, so there will be probably some stuff uh, surrounding competitions, um, whatever the, our club's up to as well. So um, please like and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss another video when it comes out. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.